And welcome to your Gone Market Update Charts of the Day for today. It's Thursday, the 30th of November, 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gone Market, to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session today. Across the news, of course, we saw a mixed session in the US with the Dow and the Russell finishing slightly to the upside, the Nasdaq and the S&P slightly to the downside. We saw early gains on the back of a good GDP number. Q and Q PCE number was also soft. So that made the market feel reasonably buoyant up until about midday when we started to sell off, particularly in big tech. We still ended up with two to one advances versus decliners, with small cap generally outperforming. Uh, we do have a big data day today, which may have also played into market minds. US futures are slightly higher in Asian trading today. Asian markets weakened from their early performance the asx was up around about 0.25 percent and now it's just around neutral european futures are pointing to a cautious open this afternoon at this stage as well and the vix has paused at september support being slightly up in asia us dollar index recovered during the session but remains generally bearish and gold remains near all-time high and test that 2050 levels around about 2047 at this stage on the gold cfd Copper has been playing with 385 resistance over the last week and it looked really positive in Asia yesterday but we've seen a little drop off again today that's not been helped by some weaker than expected China manufacturing data this morning which fell short of expectations. Uh, Oil pushed back to the top of a short term range as it appears to be general consensus that the current OPEC plus meeting going on is going to announce further production cuts potentially as uh, oil has dropped significantly obviously over the last couple of months bitcoin is another story of almost reaching key levels with that thirty-eight thousand providing a little bit of a stubbornness to markets uh, we are seeing higher lows towards this thirty-eight thousand level and it is near nine month high so the sellers aren't in for sure, but neither are the buyers that convinced it's worth more than that level for right now. As we've already mentioned, we do get year on year PCE today. That's a really important measure as far as the Fed is concerned. On top of that, softer than expected PMI data out of China, both the manufacturing and the service side were down on expectations. We do have German retail sales out, euros on CPI. And then later on this evening in the US, we've got weekly jobs in Chicago, PMI as well as some housing data. Plenty for the markets to digest today. Uh, the bulls still look as though they're in control, although, as we've said, right across many asset classes, we're just pausing for the next market moving news. Let's have a look at some charts. And we're going to start with the Euro Kiwi. We popped it on a 30 minute chart. It looks as though it would come down and perhaps. Test yesterday's lows around about this 177.25 level. We marked a line on here around about 177.83. So there's around about a 60 pip move potentially downwards to test S1. That looks like an interesting potential trade opportunity should we get a breach of that. The key is fairly strong across the board at this stage during the day. Uh, to follow through on what was a strongish day yesterday on the back of a slightly more hawkish than expected RBNZ. With stocks, there is a few that have caught our eye. We think Harvey Norman is worth a look in the retail space. You can see that bridge over the 200 MA at around about this 377 level. That is looking very bullish today, uh, and this will be a long term double bottom formation should we hold this and if we do there's a possible move up around about seven percent up to around about that 411 412 level it may pause around about four dollars on the way up but that looks technically strong and we've seen the buyers come in over the last couple of days on the back of positive online sales and that looks as though it may continue today trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now